your vice president? Bongbong Marcos. Why is Bongbong your vice president? Isn't his father... He was my number one enemy. Yes, his father, his father. His father was the cause of the Muslim rebellion. The Jabi the massacre happened under his rule. No, no. I am a Muslim. The fault of the father cannot be inherited by the son. Neither the father can be accused of the wrongdoings of his son. I am a Muslim. Situation here? I think it is excellent because we are uh, observing what we call uh, coexistence uh, agreement here. So the armed forces don't touch us, neither do we make any attempt to touch them. I think it's working nicely because we are able to preserve the peace in this part of the world. You led the rebellion in early 1970s. You've started that. You were considered the Yasser Arafat of Asia. You were helped and funded by Muhammad Gaddafi yeah, and, right. and also to a certain degree Malaysia. You were and still is influential. However, you've started your life as a rebel. And in your 70s now, you are still fighting for independence. Are you not tired of it? You've been doing this for decades. No, I have uh, promised my people. And also I have entered into some kind of a unilateral covenant with the Almighty God that I will spend the rest of my life fighting for the freedom of my people. Uh, there is no end to that. And uh, I have already groomed my eldest son to take over, even when, you know, uh, life would come to its natural end. And your situation here, where you have been under what we call self-imposed detention, there's a pending warrant for your arrest because they said that you were behind the siege in Zamboanga. Do you see this clearing anytime soon? I think the solution to this is uh, forthcoming, inshallah. Because the people who connive and conspired to, you know, cause or bring about that uh, tragic war are, I think, uh, now in the process of uh, coming to the end, politically. So you're saying you were not behind it at all, the siege in Zamboanga? Me? In 2013, they no, were accusing you of being behind it. You denied that you were behind that. I was in the mountains here in my camp, not here, in the other side of the mountains. I was absolutely cut off from that war. Here, we entrust all responsibilities, all decisions to our commanders in the field. We don't interfere because we don't like to commit mistakes in our decision. But you have control over the MNLF. You're saying that the commanders well, are in charge of what they do. That cannot be denied because the people are very faithful to me. Even while I was in prison, they continued. Every time government provoked war on them, you see, series of war, very successful defense. Philippine government had imposed, treacherously imposed their colonial rule on us on July 4th, 1946. What right do they have? They don't have right whatsoever to claim ownership of this. No people in the world has ever conquered our nation here. And I want to promise you, I will continue to the end of my life to sustain the good name of my people, what they are the unconquered nation of the world. Have they tried to come into your camp and issue to you the pending warrant of your arrest? No, no, no. no. Do you think they would ever attempt no, to no, no. you? Because I know, what I can understand is, even some of these uh, senior officers in the armed forces of the Philippines and police, 
they don't have any heart anymore to make war on them. How can you defeat a people who have inherited nearly 500 years of war and never has single nation defeated us? We defeated the Portuguese. We defeated the Dutch in a series of war. We defeated the British. We wiped them out. We defeated the Americans. We defeated the Japanese. Now Filipinos. Can you imagine them? Uh, defeating the Moros, the, the unconquerable people of the world, impossible. Philippine military is facing so many challenges, one of which is really the rising uh, number of kidnappings. How far are you willing to help them in terms of going after the Abu Sayyaf and helping with the kidnap situation? We have, you know, most of those who were released before when I was still abroad were well, my work. I was pressured by the late King Hassan Thani of Morocco. So the release of those ladies from Spain, nurses, the release of uh, some engineers from India, and also the release of the German they were German-American citizens. I was behind all of that. How big of a threat is ISIS here? Here? I, uh, I don't... Well, we don't talk about that. They have no presence here. I don't know much about them. Their origin, Abu Sayyaf is just trying to hide their crime behind them. I don't know of their presence at all. And I don't know exactly what they are after, what they are fighting for, you see? Anyway, by the wisdom of the Almighty God, we, He put us in this most isolated part of the East. Definitely and isolated. we want to remain as isolated as ever, rather than be embroiled in this global world. <laughs>